Our lives are constantly run by systems, routines, and processes. Whether these are systems in the workplace, routines that we follow at home, or processes that we go through in order to get our work done. But how often do we truly assess these approaches to identify inefficiencies and areas of improvement? In my case, this didn't happen all that often. But all that changed when I learned about the Japanese philosophy called Kaizen. This philosophy is based on the principle of continuous improvement and constant change will ultimately lead to better results and output in terms of productivity. It views improvement as a slow and gradual process which yields the results in the long run. Now this philosophy of Kaizen is actually implemented in major companies when they want to eliminate issues which will later bring about a productive company. And in the case of Toyota, and each one of us know how reliable Toyota is compared to any other car company out there. And the reason for this is because Toyota has been gradually eliminating the issues that been having for a hundred years. And that just brought about the small constant grind and small constant improvement when it comes to Toyota and where it is today. And that is why I would like you to also implement this philosophy and the practice into your life. And I'm going to give you the tips and tricks of how to implement Kaizen into your life. Now with Kaizen, I actually like to put it in the perspective of it is not a destination, but it is actually a journey that never ends. That is why it actually involves a demi cycle, which has one, the plan. This involves establishing the process through which your goals can be achieved. I'm sure that each one of us has actually laid out their New Year's goal of 2024 and the New Year's resolution, and that is amazing. But how many of us have actually laid out the plan of how to achieve those goals? Now, a goal without a plan is like having a car without fuel, like pointless. You just sit there and nothing will be taken upon it. Now, from the plan, you actually need to move on to do. And that is something which I've always preached on this channel, that whenever you have something to do, just do it. Action is actually the best repellent for anxiety and any type of procrastination that you have. Now with this, it's actually self-explanatory because each one of us knows that you're supposed to do something, but you're just sitting on it. And that is actually in your mind that you know that you're supposed to do something, but you're not doing it. And the third step is check. This actually helps you to assess the process and the results, identifying errors where you may have fallen or errors that could have been made better. Now with this, I actually recommend that you do it each and every night after planning the day, executing the day, then, at the end of the day, sit down and check to yourself what could I have been made better or what have I done wrong today that I could make better today. Which now leads to the fourth stage, which is ACT. This is the stage where you implement those modifications that you've made to your process and improved your process. Now, this continuous process, which involves the plan, do, check, and act, actually is a loop which has no end. It actually involves creating a routine for yourself each and every day, which you actually follow each and every day, which will actually lead to the improvement of the goal that you want to achieve, whether it's financially, whether it's health-wise, whether it's on your body. Each and every one of them is a continuous routine that you have to implement each and every day. This actually helps you to see that in life there's nothing which is constant. There's always something which can be improved upon. Now when it comes to everything I've said, every tactic I've given you on how to go about it, the main thing that you should always put into your mind so that you can implement and follow everything that I've said is focus and discipline. The moment that you keep discipline into the things that you want to do, that's the moment that you will inherit Kaizen. Now, for example, in this world we live in right now, there's a lot of distractions each and everywhere you go, mostly social media. Go to Instagram, you'll find many pretty girls out there. So after scroll, after scroll, after scroll, pretty girls, scroll after scroll after scroll, rich men, expensive things that you want for yourself. But in the long run, that is just distraction. But the moment that you put yourself into this mindset that where you can focus all your effort to the small things that matter in the small progression of life, that's when you achieve Kaizen. And with that, I would like to end the video right here. And as always, if you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you, bro. And if you're new to the channel, what's up, bro? Welcome to the channel. Like, subscribe, and share because we drop each and new videos each and every day, and you don't want to miss them. And I'll talk to all of you all in the next video. And if I don't,
I'll be mad, bro.